This plane has a normal propeller, but instead of pouring gas in the wings, you come and it is a standard port, just like charging your car. The Velis Electro, a European battery-powered plane, recently arrived at the Waterloo Region International Airport and became Canada's first and only certified electric plane. The University of Waterloo and Waterloo Wellington Flight Centre will test the plane in hopes of receiving certification from Transport Canada so it can be flown within the country. We want to test it for uh, all-weather flying because we have this thing called winter in Canada. So I'm really glad that it's had good performance in Europe, but we want to make sure that we can also have good performance uh, under all Canadian conditions. The lightweight aircraft has two seats and is powered by a lithium-ion battery. We can easily remove the back seat here. You can see the battery pack as well as the pumps. So these pumps are for the cooling for the system. Due to the battery capacity, the plane will be used for short distance routes. The rough numbers are fly for an hour, charge for an hour. Uh, and then it depends a little bit, of course, on the heavier you are, the, the, uh, the more power you're using, the shorter it's going to last. While the immediate appeal is that the aircraft releases zero carbon emissions, long-term savings are also expected. The cost of electricity to run this plane is very low. It's only a 25 kilowatt hour battery. How much does electricity cost? 10 to 15 cents? It's two or three dollars for filling up rather than the hundred dollars that you're going to pay for fuel. The Canadian government has outlined a plan for the national aviation sector to reach net zero emissions by 2050. Experts consider this to be an ambitious feat that will require significant innovation since the industry is largely powered by fossil fuels. There are multiple solutions for the aviation challenge, so this is not the only one. But for short distance, for short length of flights, electric is, already has the capacity and it will be a lower cost option for us. For the longer flights, we're going to have hybrids and alternative fuels, so there are different solutions for different parts of the aviation industry.